All right, I know everybody likes to see pictures of gold, so here's one of the presentation cases I have and some of the gold in it. I'm gonna do something fun tonight. I'm not gonna take any of my stuff in the vials up here. I'm gonna take the stuff that's down here in these little presentation dills. If you look at this piece, nice and really, really shiny. That one has been cleaned real well. You look at the difference between the two right here, stuff on the left isn't quite as shiny. There's the stuff down below. So I'm gonna take all these pieces except for this piece is quartz with gold attached to it. I'm not putting that one in there. But some of these are pretty dull, especially like this one right here. Lots of iron staining on it. So I'm gonna take these pieces out, put them in nitric acid, 24 hours later, I'm going to pull them out, and I really hope they all look just like this one. They should. We'll check back tomorrow. All right, Rocky Mountain Prospect Ryan here. Just moved to the outside. Uh, don't want to do this inside. There's some vapors and fumes that come off this stuff. Um, nitric acid isn't as corrosive as hydraulic or hydrochloric acid but still pretty caustic. Don't want to get it on your skin. Don't want to inhale the fumes. So I'm doing this outside where all the fumes can blow away from me. So I'm gonna show you me putting some of the gold in there. Okay, here's the little vial of nitric acid. Here's all the gold. I left some of it capped. I'm not putting this piece in there. It's already shined up. This piece has quartz already attached to it. So I don't want to mess with that. But these pieces, they're all going in. Love hearing that clink. It's pretty nice. All right, there's all the gold in the nitric acid. We're gonna come back tomorrow and see exactly what all of it looks like after it's had some time to soak. All right, Rocky Mountain Prospector, it's been a day. I'm gonna go back over and see if the gold is any shinier today. I've already looked at it, it is. I'm going to take it from the 70% uh, acid solution and put it back into vinegar to neutralize it all back out. That way it'll be safe to handle. As you can see, I'm putting gloves on just in case I get anything spilling over on me. But the nitric acid, I mean, it's not super, super corrosive, but it's enough that you don't want to get it on your skin. It'll irritate you. And you definitely want to get it off as quick as possible. And you want to be outside when you're working with it so you don't have to inhale any of the fumes. So. Here we go. Well, there's the two vials. The one with the cap on it obviously has the gold in it. See the gold sitting down in there. Ooh, it looks nice. This one is the just regular white vinegar. So I'm gonna uncap that, start transferring it over, and then we'll see what that gold looks like. All right, capping it off. I knew where my little pliers were, but don't know where they're at, so I'm using my handy dandy screwdriver to pull these out. Drop them straight in. I'm careful to be upwind. I don't want to be inhaling any of the fumes that are coming out of this little nitric acid thing, little container. Gold's much shinier today than it was yesterday. It's amazing how much this does to it to improve the overall look of the gold. Obviously it doesn't do anything for the quality of the gold, it just changes the look. So now, as you can see, nothing left in there. Now it's all in here. I'm actually gonna neutralize the tip of my screwdriver there. 
All right, cap this back off. Reuse that 70% solution. Now there is some shiny gold. Get it over the edge a little bit so you can see it. That is shiny gold. If you notice those pieces from yesterday are completely yellow now. Not even a little hint of what used to be complete corrosion, well not complete corrosion, but um, a lot of iron staining on a lot of these. And now it's completely gone. Totally yellow. Good buttery stuff. Well there it is. Took it out of the vial. Placed it on top here in the sun to warm it all up and get all the water to evaporate. I've already taken off all of the vinegar, poured it down, washed it all off with water. Now if you look at all those pieces that were a little dull yesterday, well today they are nice and buttery yellow. And they're all really uniform in color which is real nice. So those are some pretty pieces of gold now. Improve the quality dramatically I would say. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully that video uh, helps you guys improve the quality of your gold before you go to sell it, or even for presentation. Uh, I think it looks a lot nicer after you've done something like this. It actually will improve the quality of your, uh, the presentation of your gold, not the actual carat value, obviously, but the presentation quality. So 